ladies. My name is Vicki and I'm a Green and Life Status presenter with Unique and I've been with Unique since July 17th, 2015. I'm in my car driving and doing some errands but I wanted to make a quick video this morning. I had made a video for my team and I went live so I didn't save it to my phone so I couldn't like repost it and I wanted to share this in case you wanted to share this with your team on importance of being consistent and persistent. I always stress this to my girls when they want to give up or they're not getting sales to be persistent, keep posting, keep doing your thing because once you stop, it's going to stop. You keep going, it's going to happen. But I wanted to give you a little background on myself and how I know being persistent and consistent works. Back in June 2013, I had a five month old daughter. Um, we found out through lots of testing, she had a rare genetic disease called Crab A. I'm not sure if any of you follow her on Facebook. Her name is Hope for Hannah. It's on Facebook. Finding this out was devastating, obviously, and horrible. Didn't know what to do with ourselves. Wanted to curl up in a ball and just run away from the world, but we couldn't. We had to do something about it. Also finding out she was had a rare genetic disease, we found out if she was tested at newborn screening for this rare genetic disease, she could have received a stem cell transplant, possibly a life-saving treatment. Not a cure, but a treatment. But sadly, most states don't even test for this disease, which is horrible. Only two states in the United States test for Crab A at newborn screening. And it's very important to be um, tested at birth because once they're diagnosed, it's too late for the stem cell transplant, which is why newborn screening is so important. So we took all this information and tried to figure out what we were going to do because we've never heard of Crab A ever in our life. I was on Facebook, never heard of one thing ever about it. We decided to open up a Facebook page, a like page, and spread awareness of Crab A. Two things I wanted to do when she was at birth was I wanted to have her tested. I wanted to have Pennsylvania have mandatory Crab A screening for every baby born in Pennsylvania for this disease. So no parent would have to go through what Justin and I went through. Second, I wanted to spread awareness to anybody and everybody I could because We wanted to make people aware of newborn screening. We wanted to make people aware of newborn, of crab A symptoms, signs, what you can do as a parent, you know, to have your baby tested. We spread awareness. I talked about it to anybody and everybody who listened. I posted on her page two to three times a day. I was persistent. I was consistent. I would go to the news. I went to the newspaper. I did everything I could to have... Um, to spread awareness and to try to get this law passed in Pennsylvania. So a, couple, a year later, we'll just go, we'll just fast forward to two years. Uh, make this, I can go on forever about this subject because I'm very passionate about newborn screening and I'm very passionate about spreading awareness. Fast forward to two years, Hannah passed away at 23 months old on December 28th, 2014. Devastating. But in those two years, we spread awareness to 71,000 people on Facebook. 71,000 people I spread awareness to. Why? Because I was consistent and I was persistent. You know what else happened in that two years? We had a law passed called Hannah's Law. Why? Because I was persistent and I was insistent. I would tell her story to anybody and everybody that listened to me. I would post on her page two to three times a day telling everybody, you know, just talking about it, talking about Hannah, just posting pictures. I did everything I could. So everybody, I wanted every, as many as I can, who would listen to me to know about Crab A. If you would like to follow her on Facebook, it's Hope for Hannah. You can just type that in and you'll see her. Saint, now, you know, so she passed away. Uh, December 28, 2014. I, June, I joined Unique to July 17, 2015. I needed a job. I needed, I needed something, income. You know, she, I had quit my job to care for her for two years. And um, I, I joined Unique. When I, how I put these two together is about being consistent and persistent. 
I talk to anybody who will listen to me about Unique. I am, I constantly post on my Facebook page. People, I want people to associate me with Unique. And that's what I do. It works. If you post one time a day and the next day you don't, then two days later you do, they're not going to associate your name with Unique. They're not. You need to post and you need to make your name known that it's you sell Unique. You are sharing something you love. So the key is being persistent and consistent. Do not give up hope ever. In my, on my team, I had told them that is not even in our vocabulary, giving up. I don't want to hear, I, I can't do it, nobody's buying. Because you don't give up hope. I, since June, I don't give up hope. I don't doubt myself at all. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's a quick video on why I think, why being persistent and consistent is important. <laughs> So if you have any questions, you can comment under here um, or reach me out on my Facebook. But have a good day, ladies, and you can share this with your teams if you like.